Hey, it's T. Brent, and I have some of my colleagues and friends here. This is Miss M and Mr. T, and we are going to be starting with Julius Caesar, The Tragedy of Julius Caesar, Act 1, Scene 1, In Rome, It's a Street, Inter Flavius, Marius, and Certain Commoners Over the Stage. Hence, home, you idle creatures, get you home! Is this a holiday? What? Know you not, being mechanical, you ought not walk upon a laboring day without the sign of your profession? Speak, what trade art thou? Why, sir, a carpenter. Where is thy leather apron and thy rule? What dost thou with thy best apparel on you, sir? What trade are you? Well, truly, sir, in respect of a fine workman, I am but, as you would say, a cobbler. But what trade art thou? Answer me directly. A trade, sir, that I hope I may use with a safe conscience, which is indeed, sir, a mender of bad soul. <sighs> what trade thou name? Thou naughty knave, what trade? Nay, I beseech you, sir, be not out with me yet. If you be out, sir, I can mend you. What meanst thou by that? Mend me, thou saucy fellow? Why, sir, cobble you. Thou art a cobbler, art thou? Truly, sir, all I, I live by is with the all. I meddle with no tradesmen matters, nor women's matters, but with all. I am indeed, sir, a surgeon to old shoes. When they are in great danger, I recover them. As proper men as never trod upon neat's leather, have gone upon my handy. But wherefore art thou not in thy shop today? Why dost thou lead these men about the streets? Truly, sir, to wear out their shoes to get myself into more work. But indeed, sir, we make holiday to see Caesar and to rejoice in his triumph. Wherefore rejoice? What conquest brings he home? What tributaries follow him to Rome to grace in captive bonds his chariot wheels? You blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. O oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome, do you not Pompey? Many a time and oft have you climbed up to walls and battlements, to towers and windows, yea, to chimney tops, your infants in your arms, and there have sat the live long day with patient expectation to see the great Pompey pass the streets of Rome. And, and when you saw his chariot but appear, have you not made an universal shout? That Tiber trembled underneath her banks to hear the replication of your sounds made in her concave shores. And do you now put on your best attire? And do you now call out a holiday? <laughs> and do you now strew flowers in his way that come in triumph over Pompey's blood? Be gone! Run to your houses. Fall upon your knees. Pray to the gods to intermit the plague that needs must light on this ingratitude. Go, go, good countrymen, and for this fault, assemble all the poor men of your sort. Draw them to Tiber banks and weep your tears into the channel till the lowest stream do kiss the most exalted shores of all. See where their basest metal be not moved, they vanish tongue-tied in their guiltiness. Go you down that way toward the capital. This way I will. Disrobe the images, if you do find them decked with ceremonies. Um, may we do so? You know it is the Feast of Lupercal. It is no matter. Let no images be hung with Caesar's trophies. All about and drive away the vulgar from the streets. So do you too where you perceive them thick. These growing feathers plucked from C Caesar's wing will make them fly in ordinary pitch. Who else would soar above the view of men and keep us all in servile fearfulness?